In the previous video we got the uh, code to work in a manual way to do an animation, an initial animation, not the animation we ultimately want. But in this video we want the animation to actually work automatically. In other words, to use a timer to move the pointers. And one thing we're going to need is another event because we've got too much code. So if we go to the events of the form, actually probably the events of the panel would be better. And go to the uh, click event. And what we want to do is take what the code that we now have in this step and move it down to the click event. and the code that we have in the run we want to move up to the step event which actually makes a lot more sense because it is sort of a stepping process oops I just did a series of control Z's to undo whatever it is I just did. And then for the timer event, the first thing we're going to need to do is create a timer. So we have a timer named TIM run. Then in the form load event, we want to set the interval to uh, 500 or half a second and then use our tab tab trick to create a, a default uh, event handler for the tick event for a TIM run and then inside the tick event handler we just want to make a call to uh, the step button. So in effect we're having the timer press the step button. And for the run button we simply want to take the uh, check the text of the uh, run button and the run button event handler and it says run. We want to change the text to stop and then start the timer. And if the text says stop because we changed it to stop and we just pressed it, then we want to stop the timer and change the text of the button back to run. It's a trick we did previously. So why don't we move the uh, step button up by the run button so we can see it better and let's uh, save this code and compile and run it and then if we click on here we get our six triangles from the click event for the panel and if we do step we start the manual animation and if we do run you see the animation continues all by itself I don't have to press anything and if I press stop the animation stops and if I press run again it starts running again well I hope you enjoyed this uh, tutorial and learned a lot and we're going to start to get into doing the animation as we actually need it for the demo we were talking about previously uh, I'd appreciate it if you'd subscribe